What a wonderful surprise. Are you positive? Just roasting. Uh -huh. We're doing our s'mores finally. Are you don't? Sure? We're just having marshmallows. We don't have any. It's s'mores on a diet. No carbs. No carbs. <laughs> but still tasty. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be done. You're gonna eat yours now? Ooh, look at that. Guys, those s'mores were su or marshmallows, s'mores on a diet, <laughs> were super good except I definitely burned my second marshmallow and it tasted like burnt Star. zucchini. <laughs> Guys, Bay Lake looks better than it ever has before. And look, we got uh, Sarah's dream came true and we got more of these be bad honey energy drinks. But they're not as bad, like we've, gr I know energy drinks are bad, like we don't need I know plenty of people will put comments down below about like how terrible they are for you. But let's just, we're gonna be transparent. We've been drinking energy drinks and a lot of them for a long time. We're much better now. Yeah, but like, especially you. Especially me, but because of like all the years of drinking energy drinks, we know like what are the less bad ones and more bad ones. And this is all like semi-natural. Like it's, uh, there's fake stuff in there, but it's a lot of honey and it's good. There's no like, it tastes Sugar. It's like all honey. It's sugar, but it's from honey. Yeah, it's all it's from the honey. It's not sugar. Yeah, fake sugar. But it tastes like a mint julep. It's so good. Super good. It's like my new favorite thing. I think we're gonna just take a boat ride. Oh, you want to try to make it on this boat ride? <laughs> this was your plan. You will see. Spooky now. Ooh, it's nighttime. We took that boat, and I forgot that like it takes a while. It was great. We yeah, sure. so that was Martin or Marty. I don't know what he goes by, but he I sings. So if you ever take those boats, and he's like an older gentleman who sings like the best songs ever, that's him. We've been on his boat like two or three times. We were on his boat at Christmas time. Oh yeah, yeah that was, was magical. <laughs> but it's dark and it's cold, and Aristocat started playing 15 minutes ago, so. That's I feel like this is do. like when I first started vlogging and I would tell the camera everything that we just did and we're about to do even though you're watching it. So this is Peter vlogging Recap. 101 baby style. This is like my favorite song in this movie. And I used to think I was so cool because my middle name's Marie. So you know, just pulled the camera out this much too late. Just, just missed the best part, the creme de la Ed Edgar. We're gonna play the next four. But there's so many pieces. It's absurd. Okay, first of all, before we explain what just happened, it is ridiculous that literally our car now, because it's so hot during the day, there's AC, and it's so cold during the night that there's heat, that like we have to just keep switching it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Even in the apartment, like today, I was like sweltering, but like we need the heat on to sleep. Yeah. Um, so that was a very interesting trip to Wilderness Lodge. It ended not abruptly, but like our vlogging did because as we were playing Connect Four, this man came over and started talking to us, which tends to happen often. Like just people come over and talk to us. Yeah. We ended up talking to this family for what, like three hours? No. Two hours? I think like the fireworks were at nine and we were talking to them like a half hour before. So maybe like oh, it was almost an hour and a half, almost yeah. two hours. But we talked, talked to the dad, mm -hmm. who was like the, the head of the family, and then the daughter, one of the, the, he has three daughters, one of them came over and was like, Dad, stop bugging these strangers. And we're like, no, that's fine. And like, slowly we started talking to one of the daughters, and then mm -hmm. I was talking to the dad and one of the other daughters, and yeah. next thing you know, it's an hour and a half later, we might see them <laughs> tomorrow. Exchange phone numbers. Yeah, we might see them at Epcot tomorrow, because Simple Plan's playing, but yeah. that's one of our favorite things about Disney, and that's why like we yeah. always tell you guys to say hi to us if you ever see us, because... We're just like you, we just happen to be here live down the road every other day yeah so that was awesome that was awesome so we're gonna go to walmart so today's vlog will consist of a little bit of well there's lots that you just saw a boat ride a boat ride <laughs> us in the car and us in walmart but sometimes that's just what happens especially when you meet an awesome family and if you're watching this family 
you guys rock. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you for hanging out with us. us. And we're sorry that some of your vacation got cut short because of the weather. <laughs> but you guys will have fun. All right. We went grocery shopping. We got groceries. We had a little quick little dinner. It's late. Eve's tired. I'm tired. Sarah's tired. But we're finally going to do the do tag. Right. I'm going to do a video compilation of Peter saying but. But, 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 but. <laughs> We're finally going to do the tag that Fly Mini Disney tagged us in, what, like two weeks ago, six weeks ago, six months ago? Something ludicrous. Like two, I think it was two weeks ago. But, what is it? I think it's 17 questions. Okay, and we're going to do this fun. We're going to try... Sarah says we're going to do it in five words or less. I think I can answer every single one of these with less than five words. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, it's, so it's not fun? No, it's going to be fun because you have to do it in one word. Oh my gosh. All right, let's start this off with the funnest, the not the funnest question. Mm -hmm. Saddest moment in a Disney film. This is one you can do in more than, in five words. No, one. No, one I word? guess you probably won't be able Five to. words. Um, so long partner. Same movie, different scene. Toys, uh, I mean, I guess, I don't have to say those words. Fire, death, claw. Favorite Disney hotel? We were there tonight. Wilderness Lodge for both. What type of Disney item do you collect the most? Pins. For both. You don't think mugs? For you? No, because I stopped collecting them. If you could live anywhere in the world from a Disney film, which would you choose? Nemo. The ocean, though. I can't live underneath the ocean. Okay, that's true. San Fran, Tokyo. Oh, that's a good one. This one's easy. Favorite park? Magic. Kingdom. Favorite ride? Space Mountain. Splash Mountain. Favorite Disney villain? Mm -hmm. Hades. Hmm. Yeah, he's hilarious. Hades is my character. Monorail or fairy? Fairy. fairy. Didn't you just Instagram that or tweet I did. that today? That's weird. That's today. Uh, favorite show at the parks? Now, I'll say this is a stage show. Mine's not on a stage, but it's definitely a show. What is it? Got a suitcase and a dream. A suitcase. Yeah, I'm gonna and go with that too. From a little DCA, DCA action. Mm -hmm. Most underrated Disney movie. Wait, you forgot favorite attraction that's oh. no longer at the parks. Favorite attraction that is no longer at the parks. Um, Backlot Tour. I think so too. That or a great movie ride. Oh. I'm gonna say great movie ride because I went on that a lot more. Most underrated Disney movie. Uh, Which one of those like classics? Like all the ones that you've been watching lately? Yeah. You like Aristocats? But is that an underrated Disney movie? Excuse my yawn. Do you think her I think Hercules? I just look like the girl from that one scary movie. <laughs> Whoa. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. The grudge. Yeah. You hate that noise. <laughs> Um, She's what, what was your most underrated Disney film? There was a Gets. Okay. What's yours? It's Hercules. Oh. Favorite land in the Magic Kingdom. Main Street. That's not a land. It is. They say seven lands and more. Okay, you're right. Um, That's I'm a Charlie song if you didn't know. Still like Frontierland. What is the first Disney movie you saw in theaters? I don't remember, but I venture to say, hey baby. First movie you saw in theaters? That was probably like Nemo. Um, we're in like sixth grade. I know. Um, I don't know. Probably Pocahontas in '95. I mean, was I was only yeah, I was three. Yeah, it was probably Pocahontas. Least favorite ride? Mission Space. Um. What's my least favorite ride? I'm petting Eve, I'm not like, goodbye! <laughs> um, what's my least favorite ride? Mission Space. What's something else that gives me bellyache? They're having a hard time with this. I just like everything. I'll just say, most of the time I'm not up for Star Tours. So it gives me a stomach ache. Which Disney voice character would you like to meet? Woody. Oh yeah, for sure. 
I favorite Disney princess and prince. Mine is Snow White, but my favorite prince is Naveen. Uh, my favorite princess is probably Ariel, but my favorite prince. I might have to go with Naveen. Yeah. Naveen. And I didn't even plan this, but this is the... <laughs> we didn't go in order that uh, Find Me a Disney get sent us, or that, like from that tag, but this is the first question, and it's probably the best one. First time at Disney World. 1998, 20 years ago. Mine was in 2011 with this little chicken before we started our college program. August 2011. That was, what, 19? You were 19 and I was six. No, yeah, six. No, yes, six. And we're gonna tag Main Street nine and three quarters. Yes. But we have to go to bed now. Thanks for watching. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Let us know down below if you like severely disagree or agree with some of our answers. Yeah. And tell us your, like, just because we didn't actually tag you, just tell us your answers. We'll copy and paste the questions, so it'll be easy. Good night! We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.